This week at Interior. A new oil and gas assessment from USGS has found the Bakken and Three Forks formations in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana have even greater resources than previously thought. The assessments show an estimated 7.4 billion barrels of undiscovered, technically recoverable oil and 6.7 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Interior Secretary Sally Jewell calls the oil and gas formations world class and says the improved understanding of available resources in the area will make for better informed decisions about the nation's energy future. Secretary Jewell this week made her first visit as Secretary to Florida's Everglades. Jewell toured the Arthur R. Marshall Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge and Everglades National Park. She says the Obama administration will continue its unprecedented commitment to efforts to restore water quality, reduce threats to the ecosystem, and battle invasive species working hand in hand with state and local leaders and Native American tribes. The secretary took an airboat tour of the Everglades to get a first-hand look at water progress and later met with biologists to talk about the challenges of non-native species. Thursday, the secretary flew to New Orleans to meet with interior employees working along the Gulf of Mexico. Deputy Interior Secretary David J. Hayes announced this week he'll be stepping down and heading west. Mr. Hayes played pivotal roles during the last four years in a number of critical administration efforts, including heading up Interior's response to the 2010 Gulf oil spill, pushing the America's Great Outdoors agenda, promoting renewable and smart energy initiatives, and nurturing nation-to-nation -nation relationships with tribal governments. In a statement, President Obama thanked the Deputy Secretary for his service to the nation, his work in the administration's conservation efforts, and in combating climate change. Hayes is going on to teach at Stanford Law School and will serve as senior fellow at the Hewlett Foundation. Restoring an urban stream is paying big dividends in the nation's capital. Teams from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, along with local and federal partners, have been working to restore a two-mile-long stream that flows into D.C.'s Anacostia River. They've also been replacing and upgrading sewage infrastructure. Now a new analysis from the USGS shows the restoration project not only breathed new life into the stream, but for the local economy as well, to the tune of 45 jobs, $2.6 million in local labor income, and $3.4 million in value added to the D.C. metro area in 2011. The stream project is part of the Obama administration's America's Great Outdoors Initiative and the Urban Waters Federal Partnership. And the National Park Service wants to take you where you've never gone before, all without leaving your seat. The Park Service has just released a series of online fly-through videos that take the viewer deep into Carlsbad Caverns, on board a Civil War gunboat, or right through a Space Shuttle Flight Control Room. Park Service Director John Jarvis says the half-dozen new videos make it possible for people to visit sites that just aren't open to the public in real life. You can check out the new videos at www.mps.gov. That's This Week at Interior.